Yeah. We're moving some cars around. It's what happened to your arm? Lift your arm. Like you were just opening the door. Oh, is that it? That? Wait, no, no. Is it it's on like the back scab. side? What the f you got going on? Oh, yeah. Like, oh, way yeah, down yeah, there. yeah. I don't know what, what is that, that is. I think I was like scratching my arm. Oh, jeez. I thought you yeah. f like burnt your sh somewhere in here just it now. It could be that, or like maybe, I don't know. I was like, I'm a weak f I don't know. Maybe I was like <laughs> lifting something up, my muscle f like bleeding on the f inside. Is that how that works? No idea. But I feel fine. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna move this thing out. Hopefully, I should be able to like, or something. Maybe this is what the winter will look like if you get something in here, maybe. Or... Yeah, right, then no one's gonna be able to move around in here. Yeah, that that's true. That would be true. so annoying. Yeah. I'd rather get one of those Harbor Freight, like eight by 12, yeah. like tent looking things. Like, Oh man, I just feel like that'd be a nightmare to like fish them out. Pedal is extra stiff, no power steering. Like, I'm sure it's easy to drive going faster, but trying to move it and fucking what I just did, that fucking sucked. It also stinks like yeah. an old school lawnmower. It does. It's got like some bad gas in here. Does he put 87 in there? Yeah, definitely. He puts oh AJ God. fucking, remember when he got the Fiesta? He put 87 in there? Yeah. Right? That called for 91. Uh, yeah. I might have. Um, or did it not? I think it I might let mine run. Oh, for shits. For shits? You don't want to just push it? JK, JK. I could. Yeah, I keep the juices flowing. Yeah. I start it like once a week. If that, or I only drive it like once a week, maybe. Sometimes not even. Yeah, Sometimes like once every two weeks. Yeah. If you literally drive it two times on a non lock city. Home. Yeah, it's mostly just weekends like on weekdays when i come here it's just like i don't know it's just a little bit too much to take it out to go somewhere where the fuck do i have to go you know i mean yeah. sometimes like i don't know i don't feel like just like doing it for no reason it's where you go yeah right so definitely drove it quite a bit this year another drift event coming up here soon but it'll be good back this thing up quick i'll put it out at all oh, this feels so much better to move
cassette screw thingy. What? That's all I'm using. Oh. Yeah, you're gonna keep drilling. I didn't know what the fuck you were doing yeah. right there. I had one there already, but it like pulled itself out. Fucking work. Is it a self tapper? Yeah. Is it a clapped self tapper? I don't know. Little unboxing, you know. Got. <laughs> got me a um another air compressor because the one I got off Amazon. Uh, Just AJ. Call out, yeah. Yeah. AJ. Mm -hmm. You got your fucking hands on it, man, and you broke it. You fucking broke it on me. So. That was a $30 one. I mean, I, I it worked. It worked good. I don't know if I could bash it because I wasn't the one who fucking broke it. But I got one off of Amazon. It was $50. So a little more money. Yeah, but that means you're into this operation for $80. 80. Yeah. yeah, just, just to, to put air in my yeah. fucking tires, At that man. point, you could have got like a uh, fucking... You could have got an $80 one I know. I could have got a fucking Harbor Freight compressor with the fucking yeah. engine on it or some bullshit. Not, maybe not quite, but... Anyways, this one looked pretty good on Amazon. It looked like a, an industrial looking one, you'll see it. It has like a, a analog gauge rather than like a digital one because apparently those are more accurate than digital ones. I don't know the logistics behind that. I don't either, but it looked cool. It came with like a carrying bag looking thing. So box within a box, you know how that goes. This is it. What? There's not even an image of the product yeah. on the package. That's weird. Yeah, there's this no... It's hella Chinese. Yeah. That's Amazon. Oh, yeah, yeah. Made in China right on there. <laughs> I'm Whoa. surprised it doesn't say made in Shenzhen. Yeah. Oh, man. Extra China. When man, they say <laughs> you know, you get your hopes up when you see stuff on Amazon. I'm just hoping it's still a good product. That's what oh, I'm really yeah. hoping it's, for. What is it? Gypskin? Just... just Jispin? Just, just skin, just skin. Interesting. I want to hear a Chinese person. Shout say out, that. just skin. <laughs> All right. High power, fast inflate, low noise. Okay. 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 That looks legit. Here's the bag. That definitely it looks pretty legit. Huh. This thing's way smaller than I thought. I thought it. Would, I didn't even take it out yet, but. I thought it would maybe be bigger, but it's got a cool looking hose, like a legit looking air hose kind of thing. Yeah, this definitely just looks like a knockoff of like a fancy one. I yeah. Think. Oh, I'm dropping shit. We got instructions. Oh, oh wait, you need this though. Yeah, I need that. I don't need that. All right. Hmm. Put that in Fucking here. delegate some of this trash. All right, here's the product, here's the hose. Jeez, huh? This like rotates. Yeah, like a handle. It's got good weight. Does it? It yeah, doesn't it does. feel super plasticky like that other one. Yeah. Or is this plastic or metal? I don't know, I bought it because it looked like it was metal. Dude, I think you got duped because I, I think it's plastic. Listen to that. It's not really cold either. Actually, maybe, uh, unless it's a really dense plastic. Well, that's got a nice snap to it. Yeah. Well, huh. we'll see how long this one lasts. Yeah, I'm we'll see probably how long not it for lasts. long. I'm hoping, I'm hoping longer than the last one. It's got decent weight to it. Am I fucking tripping? Oh, this goes. To, I could oh, connect this. Oh, you don't even this. need that. Yeah, yeah you don't, don't even need, need that. Where'd that little baggie go? In oh. there. Nice. Not bad. Kinda wanna try it. Just for fucking ha -has. Now, I know for a fact that these are up to like 35, 36 because... What's the gauge say? This is, it's like still rising extremely slowly. That's weird. Turn it on and see what happens. Oh my god, that shit. The is uh, truck dude. needs to be no, on. That shit is a lemon, dude. <laughs> Got ripped off. I wasn't sure. Like sometimes you see people doing shit through the cigarette lighter without the yeah, fucking right? thing being on, and then every time I go to fucking do it, it needs to be running. 
Or, I mean, I'm sure accessory mode would work, but I'll just fucking start it. All right. I love how you have to start it with a key. I Wait, does it have an electric e-brake? Yeah. That's automatic when you start it? Because no. I just heard it. Or did you turn it on or something? I, didn't, or? I don't use it really. Oh, I heard it move. That's weird. This thing has a lot of shift when you like put it in park and shit. So this raised a little bit. This is probably like reading like about 30-ish or so. But you think it's at 36? That's way quieter. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely works. Cool. The no. ultimate test is to hook it up to AJ's leaking wheel and leave it on permanently. No, that's not the test. Yeah, I mean, that's what broke your other one. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta see if it breaks this one too. avoid doing that. Yeah, that's the test nowadays. Is Let that run one infinity. broken wheel yeah. that he refuses like, to the have The gauge fixed. always says it's like stuck at 12 PSI. Like it will run for two <laughs> hours and still be at 12 PSI. <laughs> God. Yeah, the, the leak is so significant. Mm -hmm. It like it came leaks out put, as it's coming in. Yeah. You gotta get that thing fixed. Fucking scrap it. Man. No, he's got the car posted for 17 G's. Uh, I hope he sells it, dude. He's got fucking... If that's what he wants. Yeah. 17 G's could easily get, like... He could get a car, a truck, and a trailer for 17 G's. Yeah, yeah. But you know, he's probably gonna be trying to get a house or some shit. Well, yeah, duh. But nonetheless, really that's a lot of money to be getting for yeah. that car. Considering like a year and a half ago, it was sitting right here. Yeah, as a shell. Yeah. So, props to him for getting it where it is. But I'd like to see him progressing drifting. You know, that was cool. He just got. He stuck. said he'll keep drifting if he keeps the car. But I've seen him post it like nine times now. Yeah. I don't need this thing. I don't think. All right, everyone. This video is sponsored by Mister Cool huge ultimate mega fat shout out to mr cool for this yeah they, this looks sick they got me all set up i told them about, about the size of the cabin uh off-grid main thing they loved it and this is the one that they recommended and they hooked me up so shout out mr cool that is awesome yeah unfortunately we're not going to unbox it because i'm going to get this all to main and then i'll unbox it up there that's why it's packed in the back yeah, of this thing it doesn't make sense to open it now but yeah, obviously that goes inside, and then that'll be for outdoors, mm -hmm. and then whatever is in that one yep. might be more stuff. But that's cool. You could do it from your phone, too. Yeah. That's sick. Has Amazon Alexa, Google Assistant. And heat and air conditioning. Yeah. Dude, do you have, it's, like, It's their latest HVAC. one. Look, fourth generation do-it-yourself heat pump air conditioner. Split type. Yeah. That's cool. Mm -hmm. So now you have, like, full HVAC for the cabin. Yeah. That's sweet. Which I think is really neat that it does heating and cooling. I think that's like relatively new in yeah, this space. Yeah, we talked about that. We were like, because he was telling me how, I was like, what are you going to do for like AC and like heat up in the cabin? And then he was, he, you explained this exactly. And now it's here. So that's, yeah. that's sick. Shout out Mr. Cool. Links in the description. Um, if you guys are like thinking about doing some stuff like this at your own place I mean, you could even do this in your house no? yeah that's what i mean i'm yeah. saying like watch a tutorial on how to install it it's pretty simple to be honest because you don't need a professional ac guy to run the lines because the lines are already look at the bottom of the see it includes yeah. patented mr cool 25 foot pre-charge line set that's sick. so you you literally don't have to put fucking refrigerant in it yeah like if you just plug it all in and it's good to go that's awesome definitely a cool setup by the looks of it trevor has one kind of like that yeah i don't think his has heat though i could be yeah. completely mistaken i think I his looks pretty new think though his does. but yeah that obviously they mount up like high on yeah. the wall cool yeah link in the description mr cool 12k diy fourth generation yeah very cool setup can't wait to see you have it all set up. Yeah, Go up to the cabin on a Xbox, hot day. Yeah, yeah, AC. Nice and cool. Yeah. yeah. That'd be cool. I'm going to have to get, like, I know that on video I've got, like, a good amount of batteries, but I still think I'm going to need more. If I want to run this like a straight household, like, um, where I, when I go summer. outside, I leave it on so yeah. that when I get back, it's cold. <laughs> yeah. Just fucking, mm -hmm. like, it's your house. I'm like, going to have to get, there's like a. Power. 
it's called like eg4 or some shit they make like a nice it's like the most cost effective one it's like a remember the server rack looking batteries i showed you yeah. it looks like a minecraft server farm looking yeah. ass thing but that's 30 kilowatt of storage yeah which is that's double what i have so then i'll have forty-five thousand watts with that one jeez yeah that might do it yeah but I, I haven't actually enough. looked up what the uh, like energy consumption is on this. I think it's pretty low for what it is. But like I'm just chat and shite. Yeah, badges all over it. I'm I straight mean... chat and shite. I just know that I'm gonna need more battery, and I am fully prepared to actually add more battery and yeah. more solar and shit. Yeah. So. Yeah, another piece to the puzzle. This one's pretty important. Mm -hmm. Like, easy to say you're gonna go off grid, but then you gotta like think about all these things that you need in order to be comfortable mm, yeah and heat and air conditioning is mm. definitely that's a luxury to have i agree even grid. even having an xbox with fire connection like that yeah. is like not heard of that's in a the, huge one that's too. new like n never has that been possible yeah only because of elon yeah literally definitely cool that sounds what do you think it's a dart or something dude small four-cylinder jetta maybe i don't even know it sounds terrible yeah. though i've never heard anything of <laughs> that sounded like puking. God. But yeah. Shout out Mr. Cool. cool, dude. Yeah, definitely some cool stuff between like Julka, this Astro. Like, yeah, Astro. Like there's definitely so many cool companies that kind of support mm -hmm. this kind of stuff. Which is I, I think it's really just because cool. it's not relatively new, right? Like people have been doing the cabin in the woods I'm thing sure. since the dawn of actual time. Humanity. Yeah. Yeah. But like I'm putting like a little bit more of like a modernish Modern. twist on it. Yeah. Especially because yeah. I'm like right i'm young in the grand scheme of things too yeah, usually yeah. it's like a 50 year old dude who's talking about building a cabin in the woods yeah but you're right as a 25 year old with like this whole youtube thing going on i feel like i could see why these companies are like digging the idea and definitely. why they're like gung-ho to like yeah be part of the build can definitely inspire more people to do this and plus mm -hmm. they're just great products as it is i yeah. mean someone that just goes camping a lot could benefit from a jewel cut or oh, starlink definitely. or yeah. something like that you 100%. don't need to even be off grid like even the cool astro products. lithiums right i originally when they reached out i said that we were going to put them in the rv for lock oh, city yeah, yeah and then i ended up saying i have these 48 volt systems yada 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 mm -hmm. and then they hooked me up with the other two damn for yeah. the cabin situation yeah so like the stuff is like you can use it however you can mm -hmm. think of using exactly it. exactly so very cool stuff I be, i've seen these on schoolies like the school bus guys yeah. i've seen them run a fucking split type like that's this. crazy yeah remember at uh, lebanon there was a guy with yeah. the stacker with a fucking yeah. with one of these on it You're right yeah now that's balling yeah, my stacker trailer like has AC like this. Jeez, man. Pull out your two funny car looking ass things. Yeah. But hey, they make it easy. Yeah, DIY. No need for a plumber or whatever. Yeah, that's cool. But they recommend to get a uh, certified electrician or some shit to uh, like wire, wire it in, but I'll be fine with that. Yeah. Like you just, you literally just watch every tutorial on YouTube straight up. Type in like. 12k diy mr cool install right and just copy the guy like step by step you, you really can't really can. mess it up yeah yeah i've done that with quite a few things and yeah youtube is your friend nowadays you could just look up anything and follow it and you'll pretty much unless they like i hate when you come across a video and then they miss like a pretty important step or like a step mm, they skip it as yeah. if it's that easy yeah yeah but it's like but like i don't understand that small step or something mm. but yeah shout out to the people that fully cover everything thank you guys for watching today's video be sure to check out the mr cool products um yeah definitely cool stuff it's gonna keep you hot and cold so thank you guys for watching be sure to check out the facebook we got t-shirts in the description mr cool in the description and we will see you guys in the next one peace